Hey, so, um, reason I, uh, I brought you over here, um, I wanted to ask, you know, since, since we're both going off shift here, um, I was just wondering if maybe, um, you know, you'd want to, you know, get dinner together, um, but, you know, kind of like a, a, a date, you know? Glennon is super nervous, like, super nervous about asking this. Finally! Finally asking this. Uh, I mean, I'm totally down. That sounds like fun. Uh, oh, oh, okay. You, um, yeah, I'm, I'm totally down. That sounds exciting, actually. Do you, do you have any place in mind? Uh, I, I, would it be too forward to ask maybe about your apartment? Maybe we, we could just cook something together, you know? Yeah, I mean, we'll probably have to stop at a store because I'm kind of out of food, but I'm totally down. That sounds that sounds great. Yeah, sure. Uh, if you don't mind me taking over your kitchen um, for a little bit, I can definitely you know cook something up. All right, all right. Are you are you a chef? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> all right, I'm I'm totally down for that. Well, did you want to head off shift then? So yeah, it's, it's a bit of a slow night. Yeah, it is. It is coming up uh, here on the clock anyway. So yeah, we might as well. Uh, all right. Let's yeah, go. Uh, sorry, go tell Reaper. Reaper. Yeah. Kinda, I think we're ditching him for something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ow, I wasn't sure how you were gonna respond to my question, so I just kind of. I I, I mean, it took me aback, but I, I, I like the idea. I do. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and sign myself off here. Yeah, same. And then uh, I guess you have your car, right? Oh, are you asking me? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've got my flight car in the garage. Um, my my Prius kind of got totaled, so I'm still waiting to buy a new one. What the hell happened to your Prius? Shut, 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 that, they remember, <laughs> oh, you weren't on the shift that time. Somebody freaking carjacked my Prius and took it in a uh, pursuit. The hell? Yeah, it's a for sure, right? Yeah, I don't know why. Like all the cars he could have picked, he picked mine and then he totaled it. Oh, that's really shitty. Who steals a Prius yeah. for a? Uh, hmm. Show car seven 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 ten forty two. Have a good night. Show car one, same traffic. Feel a Prius, right? I mean, it's a Prius of all vehicles. I heard some knuckleheads uh, had a Prius drag race in front of the station here at one point, and uh, some of them got arrested. What? Yeah. Isn't that right, officer? I think you were on that pursuit, weren't you? Okay, good talk. <laughs> That's the third time he's walked by. I know, right? He's on, like, foot patrol, but he's just doing this corner. Yeah, he's literally just walked by. That's all he does. Yeah. I'm going to change out of my uniform. I got a locker in here. Might as well. All right. You good, chief? Yeah, I'm just going off shift. I'm just uh, waiting for someone. All right. Thank you. Nice car. It's, Thank you. It smells pretty bad, actually. What the fuck? You're sitting in here. All right, I am ready. Me too, I'm and I pull out the fly car from the back. Yeah, and I'm really sorry for the fact that I'm wearing like dad shorts. Um, I didn't really I was, prepare for <laughs> this. <laughs> um, hold on. What does your shirt say? World's okay as medic. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> I want that shirt. <laughs> Yeah, wish I brought I mean, long I pants today. I kind of agree with it, so... Wow! Yeah. Hey, don't blame me. Blame no, the facts. You're not wrong. I'm a better firefighter than a medic. Uh, what, what, what kind of plans do you have? Are we going to stop at the store? Or? Yeah, just stop at the store and grab uh, some food. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I can make you here. There's Brandon Funny standing over there. Wine? Hi, Brandon. Or McCord, whoever that is. Oh. Wait. Uh, Wait, what? Uh, oh, does he need us? I don't know what they're doing. They drove by and I was staying on the street corner. Hang on. I gotta say one thing to him. Brandon, what did I tell no. you about standing on the street corner and selling your body? It's not like it's not. Wow. <laughs> you could do so much better. <laughs> I just want to come say hi. 
Oh, okay. Oh, we were going off shift, so... <clears throat> well, we gotta head out, but, uh... Those. What are what? What, what I'm wearing? Yes, I know. Dad shorts. I know. <laughs> yeah. Dad <laughs> shorts with boots. <laughs> These are just my comfy clothes. I'm surprised he doesn't have knee-high, uh, knee-high socks, either. You know, I grew up in the 70s, but I'm not that bad. <laughs> I know one thing that would All make right, it worse. Yeah. How about y'all get out of here? Because now I really don't like how that vehicle is sitting over there. It's just lowy, but right. yeah, it's fine. Or I thought it was. Maybe it's not. Hey, Chief. That doesn't look like a Yeah. I know one thing that would complete that outfit. What? Sandals with socks. Oh, nope. Never going to go that far. I'm not that bad. <laughs> See you right, guys. Let's go do something. See ya. Let's go Why actually... You're gonna sit in the back like I'm a taxi? What, what are you doing? The fuck? Ah! Oh! <laughs> I don't know why I did right. that. What store do you want to go to? Um... It's one of the bigger grocers so that I can get some stuff. Um... One is, I think one's like this way. Yeah, and also uh, obviously a liquor store. Don't worry, I'm not trying to get you drunk or anything. I'm not, you know, like that. No, I know you aren't. You know me, I like I like some wine, though. And actually, I was going to use it in the cooking tonight. All right. Uh, if you don't mind something kind of simple, um, I was thinking, um, you know, spaghetti with red sauce, but I'm going to make it with some uh, red wine. That actually sounds really, really good. Cool. Yeah, get a cheap bottle right, of red and a nice bottle of red. Yeah, we'll go ahead and stop at a liquor store and um, a grocery store and then head back. Cool. What the? <laughs> this intersection makes a whole lot of sense. I don't know. Okay, I can go around. That almost seemed like it was intentional. Yeah. Ooh, sounds like there's something going on. Yeah, really. Oh, shit, it's right in front of us. All right. Huh. I wonder where they're going to. Oh, well, we're off duty. So, we're going to get spaghetti, yeah? Is that yeah, what it yep. is? Yeah, yep. Spaghetti and a nice Some wine red sauce. In the houses. The rest of us, we just kiss their and ass. what kind of uh, wine did you choose? Uh, well, for this one, I'm using a Sauvignon Blanc for the uh, red sauce, and then I have um, a uh, uh, oh, what's this one? This is a uh, Merlot mix. What is this? Hang on, let me look at the bottle. I think it's a Cabernet Merlot mix. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like a it's a table wine, but it's like a semi sweet, so it's not like really sweet. It's like just perfect. Yeah, that sounds exciting. I'm really excited for it, actually. And I don't have to cook either. <laughs> yeah, me too. And, and, um, you know, maybe we can, like, watch a movie or something. Penal Down colony. What the fuck? Volunteers are at it. Yeah, I'm glad they're covering us. You've been to my warm... Oh, yes, you have. That was a one... Yeah, that one time. Yeah. Yeah, well, thankfully you're coming back on a better note in some sense, I guess. Yeah. I mean, we had dinner here that one time, but it wasn't, like, a, a date. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was a bet I won, yeah? Huh? It was a bet I won. Yeah, yeah. It was like a... <laughs> For that? Yep, yep. And now we're just kind of making an official one. I don't mind. Yeah, neither do I. I think that night time they only have the right door open. Here we go. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, finally holding the door for me. Wow, look at that. <laughs> wow, it's <Yeah>. about time. <laughs> Let me go ahead and unlock this. Welcome to my humble abode. Thank Here you. Here you go. Wow, humble my ass. Uh, what? <laughs> 
It's a nice apartment. You have a, bi- you have a bigger apart- Well, you have a bigger one, so you yeah. can't say anything. But I mean, it does have a nice view. Like, yeah. I mean, I've been here before. I'm not like, yeah. I just kind of like, yeah. When you said humble, I just kind of had to joke a little bit with it. Yeah, I know. But look at the view at night. It's really nice. It's actually a, a nicer view at night than my apartment because my apartment has that one building directly across from it. This is actually a lot nicer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's. I mean, I, this isn't why I picked it, but I did. I was put on a waiting list, and I got lucky to get the this street view over the one on the other side. So I'm I'm happy about it. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, here I'm just gonna set this wine down right here. And um, where are your wine glasses? Oh, I see them. They're already up here on the shelf. Yep, yep. Got a few of them up there. All right, get two down. And pour you two glasses here. He pops cork and pours two glasses <clears throat> and i think um we should toast uh and I, I honestly i think we should toast to um the two of us because i feel like we're kind of taking a step in a new direction here and um i really want to see where it goes so i think um best way to sum it up is to us to us. Shit. <laughs> what? Do you want to restart that? Let's try. Let's try that uh, one more time. Well, well this time. <laughs> so, glad I didn't spill any red wine on your punch. floor. Yeah, it's, we're not having punch. Uh, okay. We're having wine, Campbell. I'm so- <laughs> Jesus. So, uh, to us. To us. Yeah, that's really nice. Mm, yeah, this is oh yeah, I this is one of my favorite ones, honestly. And it comes in that that nice bottle right there. Oh, it's like one of my favorite ones. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so I'm kind of gonna Gordon Ramsay up your kitchen here, except without the yelling. Um, if you don't mind me doing oh. so. <laughs> you know what? He Gordon Ramsay is actually a pretty nice guy. Yeah, he actually is. He's... Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like, um, uh, John Taffer's actually a really nice guy, but he just yells a lot, too. I... I don't know who that is. Uh, Bar Rescue? Nope. Never saw Bar... Oh, wow. Uh, we'll have to, maybe, after a movie, we'll have to bring up some videos on, uh, YouTube and watch that. Alright, I'm totally down for that. Cool. Um, do you have any music, maybe, to put on? I kind of like to cook when I'm, you know, listening to music. Yeah, of course. Let me, uh... Cool. And, uh, what do you like? What kind of music do you like? Uh, you know what? I want to hear what you like to listen to. How about that? If that's not too much right. undue pressure. I'm just going to kind of go to town I'm in your kitchen here. Starts pulling out pots and pans. How does that sound? I like it. That's good. Yeah, it's very lovely. Let me just get this uh, right. set up here. I'm gonna watch you and uh, judge every little movie you make. Wow, uh, you do that already, so. No, I'm, jo- I'm joking. <laughs> wow, no, I just joke with you. Come on. I know, I know. Let me just uh, get everything set up here on the uh, uh, stove top here. Just give me a second. All right, get that grill cooking. Yeah, it's got the red sauce right here in the pan. I like to make all my red sauce uh, completely from scratch, so I do all the tomatoes myself, and, you know, so I, I just prepped all that okay. a minute ago, so. Be you, Gordon Ramsay? Yeah, just the Irish um, version. I think I do have, yeah, I think I still have some tomatoes, actually, if you do need more sauce, or more of that. I think I'm good, actually. I think I got enough at the store here. All right, all right. Sips one with... Uh, don't mind the the drink there. I, I, I tried to make a new um, like protein shake and I added uh, something in there that I didn't like, so I left it. Oh yeah, no worries. I uh, Looks like maybe uh, some vegetables in there. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, it, I... I I accidentally uh, got the wrong herb, and I added cilantro in there instead of what I wanted to add, and, you know, cilantro. Ugh. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I remember like, oh, it was like last winter we were in the, the ambulance together and we were talking about cilantro and you, you're part of that percentile that it tastes like soap, right? Yep, and it's absolutely, ah, oh, it's awful. Oh, man, I, I love cilantro and in fact, this red sauce I'm making right now, it actually, I, I oh. usually, no, no, don't worry, I didn't do it. I usually put it in okay. this red sauce because uh, it tastes good with it because of the red wine, but because... I, I remember that you don't like it. I, I I didn't buy it at the store, so. Oh, okay. Well, it's nice of you. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, red wine and soap don't really go together, so. Right. Yeah. So, um, in, what do you what does that, uh, what all is in there? Uh, I, it, okay. It's kind of a a family secret recipe uh see when well oh, okay okay i'll explain it like this when i was back in ireland um uh one thing that um we used to do is we we had this guy uh that was with us with um i hope you don't mind me bringing this up because i know it's kind of a uh i don't i don't want it to be a downer for this date uh but when i was with the ira um we had this guy who he was uh italian and he, uh, he was living in Ireland, but he just kind of, I don't know, he just had this, like, passion for the country because he moved there when he was a kid. And so he just kind of fell in with us, you know, wanting to liberate Ireland. So we just, he was like, he was like one of us, basically. And, but he used to cook this amazing red sauce. And he used to um, always, like, scour the area for, like, red wine just so he could just, like, make this. And so he, he kind of... Uh, helped me, you know. Uh, he, uh, he taught it to me, basically. So, yeah, just a little something from the home home country. That's that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. I'll have to. Uh, I mean, when I, I when I make sauce, I, I make my own special one, but it's typical, you know, Italian recipe. So nothing special. Yeah. I got the uh, water here from the sink. Your tap water is good here, right? Uh, yeah, of course. Oh, what am I saying? I'm going to boil it anyway. Exactly, yeah. It'll be safe. There we go. Okay. I'm going to let that boil for a couple minutes here. Yeah, nothing like a little bit of uh, awkward silence on a <laughs> first date, huh? <laughs> expected i'm like I, I i guess i don't know i admit i'm a little shy so yeah i mean it's kind of funny considering we've known each other for over a year now and now we're kind of <laughs> going back to like i don't know it's almost like i don't know it's like <laughs> back in the old days i guess shyness yeah yeah i remember i was very quiet when i first <laughs> joined yeah i have to say you've really developed into a fine uh firefighter and paramedic over the year you know you've definitely really stepped up thank you i appreciate that what do you uh typically do on your days off because i don't really you know get to see you that often um, honestly i mean I, I think duke's sleeping in the room right now but uh, usually in the morning I, I get up and take him on a about a 45 minute walk initially and then breakfast go to work um and then usually on my days off i just either go hiking maybe go to the beach sometimes i'll stay home and read but it's it's very rare with this weather it's it's too beautiful to stay indoors so i, I like to go out oh nice uh does um oscar still live here yeah he um i guess occasionally he'll try to like he, he wanders sometimes away, and I let him do that and then try to find him and bring him back. Yeah. But it's a very rare occasion I'll let him do that, because I, I know he'll generally be fine. I know I'm not supposed to be, but it, it's a rare event that I'll let him out. So right now he's just probably, uh, you know, wandering around, maybe bothering the... F I don't know, I didn't see him at the firehouse, so he's doing his own thing. Yeah, it makes sense. You know, I, I, you know some of the... Okay. Oh, I was gonna say, I know he's taken uh, a liking to sleeping in the closet, so. Yeah. Yeah, he seems like he likes confined spaces, because when you, when you were crashing at my place, he was hanging out and he would, like, claw open the closet downstairs and just kind of lay in there. Yeah. Yeah, he does. 
kind of makes me wonder where he came from and like why he's good at some of the things he does like i heard he found drugs in a car once and he's also a good rescue dog it's really weird yeah i mean it might have been a maybe a service animal in the past or something i don't know it's it's very strange i know that i've been uh, i have an appointment for him to check out his eyes a little further he, he is partially blind i know that because he does have some cloudy eyes so hopefully we can fix those eyes pretty soon if, if the cost is okay yeah i mean you know he, he's so well loved down at the firehouse like i mean <laughs> if you need any help with the medical bills for him like i'll chip in because i mean god he's like the firehouse dog at this point so you know i the least i could do yeah yeah i mean i'll certainly do that um that's one that i was actually gonna ask you is maybe once in a while i could leave oscar down at the station he can sleep there too because he does like going there and i i i mean i don't know if you noticed but um over by the door down by the, you know, kneel height or whatever, waist height, he does scratch at it sometimes to try to get out. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's totally fine. Um, I mean, he, he tends to find his way down to the firehouse anyway, so you might as well, you know, occasionally have him down there. I'm sure nobody will mind, you know, watching him. Yeah, exactly, yeah. That'd be pretty cool. He would like that, for sure. Yeah, hell, I'd love to watch him someday. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, you, you definitely need to meet him, for sure. I know you always seem to be gone. That's <laughs> that's crazy. I know. He always shows up when I'm off shift. I don't get it. Maybe he doesn't like uh, red hair. <laughs> okay. Maybe. I Well, I mean, if you looked at the state of my apartment when you finally left. I mean, not, not your fault, but, you know, I lost my, I, one of my plants. Sorry. And... <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, you, you know I like my house plans he hasn't been he, i don't know he hasn't torn into any of them but that's because i've been trying to train him and he does respond to treats so yeah it's probably me maybe <laughs> uh, well um you know you brought up hiking um i actually honestly have not gone hiking in the last couple of years and i feel like i need to get back into that um maybe we can go hiking sometime you know I'm totally down for that. Where do you do you, do you go hiking anywhere specific or? Um, usually um over by Mount Gordo. Um, there's that nice trail. Like if you go past that house that has the lighthouse there, there's like a parking area. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I tend to walk that and then come back down. But um, I've actually yeah, never. Yeah, quite often. I've actually never gone up Mount Chiliad, and I'm wondering if maybe you'd like to attempt that someday. It's a pretty intense hike, but. Oh, I, I mean, I can do it. I'm, I'm pretty good in my stamina. I'm totally down for it. Oh, yeah. Believe me, I... Uh, okay. Uh, kind of embarrassing to say it. I was about to say, like, I've been watching you and at work, obviously, and I know you're you're pretty fit and pretty strong. So, yeah, I, I can imagine you'd probably do that mountain just fine. All right. Yeah. Let's see, pasta's almost done here. Red sauce is obviously fine. Just making sure it's not boiling over. Oh, almost forgot to add the wine. Oh my god, that would have been so. Oh. Uh, yeah. Um. Stage on the on the food. Are you at? Uh, okay. I think the red wine has cooked off enough. I think we're good here. So I'm just gonna turn this off and uh, we'll add the uh, sauce to the pasta. Alrighty, I'm excited to try it. Do we have any cheese? Oh shit. I mean, I have some cheddar cheese. I don't have Parmesan. Did we buy some? Um, you know, I forgot the cheese. I'm sorry. Um, well, if you're fine with cheddar going the non-traditional way, I guess it might work. Yeah, that's fine. Here, let me just, uh, I just gotta strain the pasta here in your sink real quick. Brings pasta to sink and strains the basket. There we go. And right. nice um, down full. below, actually, you, yeah, you see that cutting knife and board right below that is going to be the cheese grater. Can you grab that? Oh, sure. Hang on. Grabs. Grabs tool. And hands it to her. Thank you. Welcome. Go ahead and greet some of this cheese. How, how much do you generally like on yours? I love me some cheese. So, <laughs> oh, uh, fair amount. All right. All right. Uh, Get a good bowl. 
what's worth of it Let's then. Toss that on two plates. How much uh, red sauce do you like on your uh, pasta? Half of how many? Uh, no, let's say about maybe sixty-five percent of how many noodles there would be, if you understand that. Yes, I do. I got it. All right. Let uh, me put exactly five. There you go. Oops, sixty-five percent sauce on pasta. Pasta. I'm just doing that for the joke. <laughs> There we go. We put some of mine. There we go. And of course, I have to have some wine here. Yep, I took another sip as well. Very good. I like it. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's one of my favorites. I love it. Okay, I got both our plates here. Let's hand one to you. There you go. Do you want to sit at the table or on the couch? Oh, uh, let's go sit on the couch, I think. Why not? And well, we can uh, put on a movie, too, actually. All right. Yeah, it's already... You have a... You have a... Turn off. Yeah. Do you have a Webflix account? Um... Okay, just ignore that bong that's no. sitting there, because Campbell would not use a fucking bong. Just pretend that's not there. Just please. Oh man, that was that was a really good movie. I I did not think it was gonna be that good. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, that was a pretty that was a pretty great movie. I loved the oh, what was his name again? Crap, the general guy. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah, he was really good. Oh, just you know, Bonjar now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yes. Leave it to Quentin yeah, Tarantino. The end where he's just like yeah, and the end when he's just like. Know you to the the German guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love it. Like you know, they 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 killed that poor driver, you know, and then he was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> he was like, they'll, they'll they'll kill you for this. He goes, nah, more, more like chewed out. I've been chewed out before. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Poor guy. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good film. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for uh, recommending it. That was you know that was really good. Yeah. Yeah. They make it up and kind of stretch. Yeah, I gotta do the same. Oh god, I think I just like turned my back pop. Oh. Yeah, you're young compared to me, you uh <laughs> Uh still I still have popping going on. Yeah. Oh, so what kind of books do you like here? You don't mind me looking at this. Um yeah, go ahead. Um I just realized they're pretty big books, weren't they? Yeah, these uh, are I guess I like some light reading. Everything. <laughs> Unless you have more copies of John Tung? I don't... I'm gonna be honest, like, my mother gave me a set of that, and I just leave it up there, so in the rare time she does visit me here, she'll feel happy that I have it. I, I haven't even opened a page up, I don't know what it's about. Yeah, isn't he... I think he's the author that he, he wrote, like, several books, and he made them all the same, like, color and... Uh, like the, the covers are all the same and everything and there's no numbers on the book so like you have no idea which one's the first one and the last one and no matter which you know which order you read the story in it is somehow a, like this coherent story despite the fact you're reading everything out of out of like context it's the strangest thing but it's really cool yeah it might be about that. I don't know I, I'm gonna be honest I haven't opened it but yeah yeah. Um, oh, City and Night. That's the um uh the graveyard shift uh, firefighter book, right? Yeah, yeah. I was trying to figure out some things that I could do at night while on shift. Yeah, it's like a whole bunch of like little stories of like uh you know quiet nights that firefighters and paramedics faced, and you know what they did to yeah. uh yeah. Yeah, if only you would let us have that, you know, X bone console we wouldn't be so bored at night i guess well you know i guess we could have that in the station actually my favorite story from that book was uh the two paramedics that jumped off the back of the ambulance onto a trampoline and like went oh my God. sky high yeah it was <laughs> that was a funny one i mean i don't think i'll do that but yeah 
I, I haven't read through all of it. Um, I know that there's one where they actually went to the like a hotel and, and got permission to use their swimming pool while they were on duty. Don't know how, but they got it. Wow. Yeah, I, I don't think I got... I, I don't know if I read that chapter or not, but yeah, it's... <laughs> that that's something that could easily get you fired, but that's that's pretty funny though. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh man. Oh, did we actually finish this whole uh, bottle of wine? Um, probably. Considering you drank like seventy five percent of it. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Sorry, I know. Well, hey, it's not my fault. You're more of a lightweight than I am. Hey, hey, hey! I'm not that lightweight. Yeah, just a bit. Well, it sounds like you're getting tired. Maybe I should, uh, I should head out. What do you think? Uh, I mean, are you sure? Yeah, I, I don't want to... want to stay the night, or...? Oh, um... I, yeah, actually, that actually sounds really lovely. Okay, um... Yeah, that's... I mean, if you, if you don't mind, you can stay here. I've got plenty of places to... For you to, you know, kind of bunk on. Yeah, it's fine. Um, if that's the case, um... Do you happen to have another bottle of wine? I think I do. Well, why don't we uh, pop that thing open and maybe uh, see what else we can uh, watch on uh, TV. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Why don't you go pick the movie and I go pick the bottle. All right, sounds good. Let's do it. <laughs>